Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand this error and resolve it. So let's get started. So this error says that this symbol is reserved or exists already. This symbol comes in three different conditions. The first condition is when you use a letter as dimension symbol which is already reserved. For example, if I use letter G as dimension symbol then I'll get the same error this symbol is reserved or exists already because letter G is reserved for acceleration due to gravity and you cannot use it so avoid using letter G and other than this you can use any letter and Creo will accept it so this was the first condition the second condition is when you have used a letter as dimension symbol in your earlier dimension then you cannot use the same symbol for your new dimensions. For example, I have used dimension A in this part and the same dimension I am going to use once again for this dimension. So I will select this and I will try to add letter A as dimension symbol for this dimension. Again I get the same error, this symbol is reserved or exists already. So this particular symbol is available in my earlier dimension, so I cannot use for my new dimensions. So here you can see that this dimension is already available and I cannot use the same symbol for my new dimension. If I want to use the same symbol for my new dimension then first I need to rename it. I will just say H. So now this dimension is dimension H. Now I can go to this dimension and I can rename it. I can assign the same symbol as A make it symbol and that's it. Now you can see that I have used the same symbol for this dimension. So this was the second condition. Now let's talk about the third condition. So the third condition is when you was having a symbol dimension in your previous feature and due to some reason you was deleted it. Now the same letter you want to use as dimension symbol in your another dimension. But Creo is not allowing this. For example, if I go to flange 3 and if I try to assign dimension B for this feature, Creo will not allow. This symbol is reserved or exists already. But dimension B is not available in this part. It was there earlier but it is deleted now and I don't know in which feature it was. So if you know where exactly that dimension is then you can go to that dimension and rename it and you can use the same symbol for another dimension. But in third case, we don't have the dimension in this part and if you don't have the dimension, you cannot rename it and if you cannot rename it, then you cannot use the same symbol to another dimension. So the third case is very difficult to resolve because that dimension is missing from this part. So how to resolve that? So to resolve that, the first thing is you find out where exactly that dimension was. And for that, go to tools find and here you look for dimension select all dimension and type here the dimension symbol so I'll type B and say find now it is highlighting one feature go to tree column and select this feature apply ok it says that feature 12 flange 2 so this is the flange 2 feature 12 so here the dimension was close it and go inside this feature. Now you look for dimension B here. But when you see this sketch closely you won't find dimension B here because dimension B is deleted and Creo is not allowing you to use B as a dimension symbol for another dimension. So this is the problem. Now let's have a small break. And meanwhile, you can like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now to solve this problem, there is only one way and that is you delete this feature and recreate it. And before you delete, first go inside the sketch and save this sketch. Ok and ok. Now you delete it so 
suspend this now recreate that feature go to flange sketch sketch normal delete this one now you can call that sketch using palette I will use this sketch close it position it sign the scale 1 position it and say ok say ok next end and say sketch say ok and say ok now you recreated the same feature resolve the dependent feature so now you recreated the feature now you can go to this feature and assign dimension b and creo will accept it now you can see that i have just assigned dimension b for the same dimension and creo is accepting it without any error so this was the three conditions when we get this error and this is the way we resolve it and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video if you believe that the video is helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.